This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Police capture wanted man in St. Andrew apartment complex. The Jamaica Constabulary Force Special Weapons and Tactical Unit say they captured a high-value target at an apartment complex in St. Andrew earlier today. The police have identified the target as Kevin McCollum, otherwise called a Mackie boy, who was wanted for murder and other serious offenses. A video of the operation made its rounds on social media earlier, showing several SWAT vehicles parked outside the apartment complex. More information to follow. Haiti's president assassinated. The president of Haiti was assassinated Wednesday morning in an attack at his private residence just outside Port-au-Prince. He was 53. The first lady was also injured in the attack and is in hospital. A statement by the interim prime minister, Claude Joseph, said the president's residence in Port-au-Prince was stormed by unidentified armed men about 1 o'clock local time. Mr. Joseph said the gunmen included foreign elements. He condemned the attack as an inhumane and barbaric act, declaring that Haiti's national police had the situation under control. Mr. Joseph said that all measures had been taken to guarantee the continuance of the state. The president had been in power since February 2017, after his predecessor Michael Martelli stepped down. His time in office was unstable as he faced accusations of corruption and was challenged by waves of often violent anti-government protests. Man dies in crash on Edward Sioga Highway A man died in a motor vehicle crash on the Edward Sioga Highway on Tuesday. He has been identified as Siobhan Walters of Flint River in Richmond, St. Mary. About 8 a.m., Mr. Walters was driving a motorcycle in the vicinity of Discovery Bay in St. Anne when he collided with another vehicle. Mr. Walters was thrown from his motorcycle. He was taken to the St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. 362 schools participating in face-to-face -face national summer school program. Education Minister Favel Williams has said 362 schools are participating in the face-to-face -face component of the National Summer School Program. More than 16,000 students were engaged at primary and secondary schools on Tuesday. At the close of the day yesterday, the numbers collected from the regions showed that we had 326 primary schools that participated, 36 secondary schools, 16,530 students, and 1,515 tutors, she revealed. The education minister reported that almost 27,000 students have logged on to the three online platforms, Learning Hub, Edufocal, and One-on-One -on -one Educational Services. As students come on, they will complete their gap test, and then the customization of the tutoring would begin for students, and that would be ongoing. Our expectation is that as we go through the program, we will continue to see an increase in the number of students, the number of schools, number of tutors that come online, said Mrs. Williams. Police find two firearms in Jacks Hill, St. Andrew. The police seized two firearms on Harriman Close, Jacks Hill, in St. Andrew, following an operation in the area today. Officers were carrying out an operation at a premises about 7 a.m., when a .38 revolver was seized. During the same operation, the police said another premises searched and a stunned Ruger rifle along with a magazine containing two rounds of ammunition was also seized. No one was arrested in relation to the seizures, but the police said investigations continue. Third man dies following St. Elizabeth shooting. Police have confirmed that a third victim who was shot at a party in Elam District last night has died. Police have identified him as 37-year-old Jeffrey Singh. The other two victims are 30-year-old Denworth Tape and 33-year-old Fabian Medley. A fourth man was also injured in the incident. Police reports are that about 10 p.m., the four men were at an unauthorized party at a bar in Elam District when a black Voxy motor car drove up at the event, one man exited the vehicle armed with a handgun. 
he opened fire, hitting the men. They were taken to the Mandeville Regional Hospital, where Tape and Medley were pronounced dead. Singh later succumbed. A 20-year-old man who was also injured remains in hospital. Men freed of murder after almost 10 years in custody. Three men who were in custody for more than nine years for murder were today freed in the Supreme Court following a no-case submission by their attorneys. Freed are Michael Brown, Gavin Sampson, and Duane Bryce, who were charged for the murder of Bradley Morgan, who was killed at his house on Fagan Avenue in St. Andrew on September 20, 2011. The men had been in custody since the attack. The trial, which had commenced last Wednesday, ended today. The men had elected to have their case tried by a judge alone. The prosecution led evidence before Justice Shelley Williams that the three men, armed with high-powered guns, descended on Morgan's premises in a pre-dawn attack in September 2011 and shot up the house. Morgan was shot fatally and another person inside the house was shot and injured. The men's attorneys argued that the case against them was flawed based on a faulty visual identification evidence. The weakness for the prosecution on the cross-examination gave conflicting reports of the incident in relation to how he was able to see the men that morning. He testified that he had seen the men through a peephole at some distance and admitted that he wasn't certain as to the identity of one of the men. A no-case application was then made, which was upheld by the judge. The men were then freed. Brown was represented by Peter Champagny QC, while Bryce was represented by Dion Jobson, and Samson was represented by Paul Gentles. 15-year-old boy held with a legal gun charged. A 15-year-old boy has been charged following the seizure of a firearm and several rounds of ammunition in Shooters Hill in Harborview. The police report that about 3.25 p.m. on Monday, the teen was walking along a roadway when he ran up on seeing the cops. He was accosted and searched. The police say a Smith & Wesson 9mm pistol and a 6 and 9mm cartridges were found in a bag he was carrying. He was taken into custody and later charged. His court date is being finalized. Five more COVID-19 deaths, 52 new cases. Five more COVID-19 deaths have been recorded in Jamaica, increasing the tally to 1,101. Those who have died are a 66-year-old man from Kingston and St. Andrew, a 76-year-old woman from Kingston and St. Andrew, an 87-year-old man from Westmoreland, a 29-year-old woman from St. Catherine, and a 60-year-old woman from St. Catherine whose death was previously under investigation. Meanwhile, there were 52 new cases with ages ranging from 2 to 86 years, pushing the total to 50,456, with 14,228 being active. Of the new cases, 23 are men and 29 are women. The majority of the new cases were recorded in Kingston and St. Andrew with 15, followed by St. Anne and Westmoreland with 9 each. A total of 1,255 tests were conducted. The country's positivity rate stands at 9.6%. In the meantime, there were 1,665 more recoveries, increasing the total to 34,764. Some 115 persons are in hospital, with 23 being moderately ill and 11 critically ill. Four more persons are in government quarantine, while 44,495 are at home. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.